Hi guys, it's Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, I wanted to come up with a project share with some embellishments that I've been making and working on. Um, I got this idea from the mini scrapper. Um, I'll put her link below so you can go watch her channel. She, has, she does awesome stuff. Um, but I changed it up a little bit. Um, for one, I didn't use the punch tab, which she uses on these ones, and I did it out of fabric. Um, I also make these little purses out of, uh, the, out of leftover, um, leftover, uh, uh, paper also like our scrap all of our paper scraps we have but this one is out of fabric and I just took a um, uh, rectangular piece of fabric folded it over and then um, hot glued in after you fold it over and I'll probably do a tutorial on this hot glued in the um, V trim for the little purse handle and then um, I cut out a circle and then cut the circle in half so I can have like the little flap on the um, purse and then this is an embellishment and more embellishing. So I think it turned out really cute. So that's how I did all these, but let me just show you really quick. I won't go through the explanation on each one. But they're so easy. I think you guys can probably figure out how to do these. Show you this one. Aren't they so cute? So I'm starting to do, what I'm doing is, is I'm um, these embellishments are gonna be like little gifts for Christmas. So I'm gonna keep making these and have tons of them made up by Christmas. So when I send away my Christmas cards, I can send away little gifts to everyone. Cause you know how you want to send everybody stuff? Well, this way I'll be able to. So they'll get, everyone will get like just a nice little assortment of embellishments from me. How cute that one is. I love them. And they're so addicting. Once you start, you can't stop. So cute. Look how cute that one is. And then look at that. Okay, so I love how these turned out. And this was all um, out of jeans. Um, I should have said that, out of jean fabric. So um, not even jean fabric, out of old pair of jeans. So save your old pair of jeans. These are, and you can make little little purses out of them. Nothing makes me happier than using scraps. Because we all have scrap fabric everywhere. We have old jeans. We have scrap paper. Okay, now these are all made of, well, it's a mixture of scrap paper and also fabric. Scrap fabric. Okay, so this is all using all your little bits and pieces of fabric or paper. Okay, this is and these are um, these are embellished paper clips. And this I got the idea from um, uh, Deli Girl nineteen sixty one and Crafty Irina. Aren't those so cute? Oh my gosh. I just love them. So they both have tutorials, so you can, guys can watch their tutorial. But they turn out so cute. And this is just using, look at this is all your little scraps from your little scrap box. So you guys don't throw away your scraps. You can do so much cute stuff with scraps. I think things turn out better with scraps because it makes you more creative. These were all bits and pieces of stuff I had left over. I have to hold that one because boy, that looks so cute. And so let me show you guys what this looks like like on a piece of paper so like if you're gonna have if you're gonna do something look how cute this looks see look how cute those are as little paper clips so cute they are they you you can't put them in, well let's see if you can you can't really put them on the top well you know you can you can put it on top of something if you want and it'll go like this yeah you can do that and this looks really cute too I've done that when I'm clipping some things together or you can go from the side and it kind of looks cuter from the side, but that's not true though, because I did some from the top and it looks really cute. Okay. So let me just keep going. There's another one. And like I said, you guys can tell us just all these little bits and pieces. And this one was made out of that. Um, why do I always burlap? There's the word of burlap. And I have potato sack bags, actual potato sack bags. I got at the dollar store a long time ago. And that's what I use for my burlap. I have tons of it. Um, another cute one. Yeah, and this is scrap paper, just some scrap paper. Okay, again, um, when the mini scrapper taught me how to, no, who taught me? Not the mini scrapper. Um, Crafty Irina and Deli Girl 1961. They take these and they use their tab punch, but I decided to um just fold paper over, and um glue the paper together, and you glue the paper over the paper clip. And like I said, watch Deli Girl 1961 or Crafty Arena, and they'll, they have good tutorials on how to do it. It's very, very easy. And you can maybe even figure it out on your own. 
very cute made of scrap paper and just a bunch of scraps in my stash um this one is so cute look a bunch of scraps i put together and um jean fabric uh this is some serious scrap paper here some coffee dye paper that i had and this one turned out really cool really vintagey i love it okay i've made so many of these oh my god again out of scrap paper um here's another one this is a cutie isn't that cute it's cute paper ultra paper clip and it's made of jean fabric uh this is a piece of muslin that i um avocado dyed it was just a piece left over isn't that cute and here's the back so that's the um again this is a cute one really cute and scrap paper this is a little piece of scrap fabric that I had in my stash so look at what you guys can do with all your scraps and this is scraps of like lace left over and little fringe and buttons from my you know my button stash and this is muslin so just keep all this little stuff again scrap paper from my stash um, I like to use muslin. I like to use, uh, I made a little like rose here. Just that a little piece of lace that I had just rolling it up. Um, some muslin from my sash, some um, of this um, like uh, fringy type of stuff. Fibers, fibers from my stash. Again, this is some more scrapbook paper. I thought that was really cute. Leftovers from my stash, just putting everything together. Um, a piece of jean, a uh, little cut off of my jeans. And look how cute that is. Love. Okay, again, scrap paper. And then look how the cute stuff. This right here is just like taking like any leftover little lacy fabric and just like taking a square of it and just kind of rolling it together like this. And then just gluing it on there. It comes out like a little flower. Just experiment with you guys with it and you guys will get it. It's easy. Okay, add a scrap paper. That's cute. Okay, jeans again. Just jean fabric. My je leftover jeans that don't, that I just keep saving. And I even buy jeans at um, garage sales all the time because I know I want to make stuff with jean fabric. Okay. Again, a piece of muslin. A bunch of scraps left over. Um... Oh, I, did, I am going to show you guys how to do it. I, I, just a quick little quickie tutorial. This is um, that shelf liner. This stuff. Okay? But in pink. Hopefully my head's not in there. So I thought this turned out cute. So I used a piece of shelf liner and did it. So I want to try something different. Another scrap piece of paper. Um, more jean fabric again. Um, this is a cute one. This was out of some scrap paper that I did um, little Rhonda Lee's card and card out of. Hi, Rhonda. And look how cute that turned out. I wish I would have had these done, Rhonda. When I sent you your stuff, you would have got a bunch of those, but I didn't have these done yet. Um, look how cute that one turned out. That's that same paper that my Rhonda Lee's card out of. Look how cute that is. All right, I'm almost done. Uh, again, this is another piece of burlap. Oh my God. Burlap over muslin. That looks cute. Bur uh, this is muslin, burlap, and then a piece of lace over that. I think that turned out really cute. All scraps. Scrap paper again. Cute. More scrap paper. This is like a little time card that I copy dyed. And I have some scraps left over. Look how cute that one is. So little and cute. Again, jean fabric, or just a pair of jeans that I cut up. Very shabby chic and cute. Okay, so let me do, let me put these back in my little embellishment boxes. Okay. Okay, I just want to show you guys quickly how I did these, because um, it is really super simple. Okay. So you have your paper clip, and let me see where my camera is at. Okay. All right. Um, 
Okay, so you have your piece of fabric, and this is whether you're using fabric or you're using scrapbook paper, it doesn't matter. Okay, it's going to be, and it depends on how how uh, long you want your um, your purse, but approximately. Uh, just cut a piece of fabric or a piece of um, paper, four inches. Okay, and then I think I have it an inch, inch and a half wide. So, not inch and a half, so somewhere between an inch, an inch, an inch and a quarter wide. So about like this. It doesn't have to be exact measurement, you guys, okay? All right, so then you just fold it in half like that. So let's fold it. Then, this is what the important part is. Okay, on your paper clip, you're going to have this outside part here. That's what you're looking for. Not the inside part, the outside part, the part that's out right here. Okay? And um, whether you go this way with it or you go this way with it will decide how you're going. You'll understand it once you do it more. The most important thing is that outside part. That goes in here, just like that. So that's how that hangs on there. And then that way that allows the back here to still be open to clip onto things. Okay, then you're just going to take some, um, from here, you're just going to take some hot glue, hot glue right there, and then maybe all the way around, but definitely right there because that's what's going to hold either the fabric or the paper or the fabric or the uh, uh, scrap paper onto the paper clip. Then you want to close this up. You put some glue down here and here. I use hot glue. Seal all this up. Okay, and that's it. Now you have your little um, your little base. Now you can, like I said, take little scrap pieces of fabric, fibers, laces, whatever, and start embellishing these. How easy is that, you guys? Simple, simple, simple. Okay, I wanted to um, show you guys that quick little mini tutorial. <laughs> Very quick. To show you how easy that is. Um, the purses are a little more involved, but not really. Um, you can go to the mini scrapper and look at her tutorial, and she will show you guys how to make that. It's really, really easy. I would make a tutorial, but she already has a great tutorial on it, so I don't need to do that. Okay, you guys, I think... Oh, one more thing I wanted to share. Just a quick peek. Quick, quick peek at my journal this is my next journal i'm working on and this has been one of the many things i've been working on that i why well, i haven't been able to um just one second guys i just want to see where my camera angles at like always got to hold that there okay let me come out a little bit all right let me see where i'm at and come out Okay, come in a little bit. Okay. Just want to see where my camera angles at. Oh, let's go in a little bit. All right, I think you guys can get a quick snake peek here. Was it here? Okay, so I just want to show you guys how this is turning out. Again, I do what I always do. I rip out some something out of the um rip the guts out of the book. And then I start um layering this all up with um my same MO. Um I use book pages. Music note pages, scrapbook paper, napkins, um, and then over that I lay, oh, like I said, napkin. And then I also lay over um, pattern paper so we can get texture going. Um, and then I always end it with doing some um, wall compound through a stencil. And that's what this is. And then I used my, remember I showed you guys in my last video, I had bought, um, just, I just used any of your sprays, but I did buy some tether, uh Tethered Angel's Purple from uh, Tuesday morning. Um, I sprayed everything with that. So that and the back. And then I took um, gold, uh, Inca Gold, and rubbed that on the highlighted spots. And on here too. And I think that turned out pretty. Then I did my, my thinabarring like normal. And I won't go through all of it. Because I'm going to go through um, the whole journal once, you know, I'm done. But I thinabarred the whole front. So I think that turned out really pretty. The only thing I'm sorry about is I should have glued this on after I get done with the journal. Because then it makes it easier. Now it makes it kind of cumbersome working on my journal. But anyway. And I will give you a sneak peek on the first page. Let me see where I'm at. No, the first one or two pages. Okay. I love, okay, I love how the cover turned out, is, has turned out. I, was, I usually put a big pocket here. But I think this is so pretty, I am not putting a pocket on that. I'm leaving it. I think it turned out really pretty. Um, this, okay, on this journal, it, it's a mixture. It's a true junk journal. It's a mixture of everything. It's vintage. It's it's fantasy. It's a true junk journal. But I'm going to write my um, 
it's going to be a um, gratitude journal. That's going to be what I'm going to write into anything, everything I'm grateful about but with a fairy theme. And it's junk because I use so many different things to make it. Okay. So that's where the junk part comes in. Um, I made a little pocket out of some just um, leftover paper I had. This is a jelly print, which I think turned out really pretty. These are Amy Brown uh, cards, and I'm going to be using those in here a lot, these Amy Brown cards. There will be a tag in here, too. I'm working on the tag that's going to go behind here so I can write what I'm, you know, what I'm grateful for. That will go in right here. But these uh, Amy Brown cards, I mean, aren't they gorgeous? I've shown them before. Love her stuff. Obsessed. Um, so her cards will be going in all over the place because, like I said, it's going to be with a fairy theme. Um, I'll show you one more page really quickly. I think this page is really cute. Um, this was a jelly print on the other side that I wasn't really liking. So I went ahead and took book pages, uh, took a book page, and over, over the book page I put a napkin, which I think turned out really cute. And then I just um, collaged a bunch of things together in the corner to make a tuck spot. I have a um, coffee dyed piece of uh, index paper and this cute little girl, you guys. Look how precious she is. I found her on Pinterest and I'm using tons of stuff from my last journal from my um, junk tea, my junk journal that was a tea journal. I'm using tons of stuff from that. So I hardly had to print anything up because I had so much stuff left over from that that I need to use. So anyway, I just want to give you guys a sneak peek of my journal I'm working on. I'm very excited about it. Um, I definitely need a gratitude journal right now. I need to be thinking what I'm, I need to be thankful for what I have and what every day brings me and not about any other issues. I just need to be thankful. So I want to start writing that down, writing, just writing down what I'm thankful about. Okay, you guys. Um, I think that is it. Um, just trying to make sure. I just want to thank everybody who has been subscribing to my station old and new. I'm close to 500 subscribers. I'm going to have a giveaway pretty soon. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And I think I've been thinking about this one. Sometimes I don't have you guys do anything. Just write a comment. I do that a lot. Um, but this time I have, I'll share this with you guys really quickly. I have a, um, I made this for my husband last year, but he never used it. So I kind of took it back. Um, <laughs> kind of mean, but oh, well, he doesn't care. Um, this is one of those altered books. You guys know I have a book obsession. I just love books. This is an altered book. And this is an old thing, I think, from the 70s or something. This was started a long time ago. Uh, and I got this from somebody's station. I can't remember. Something. I think her name is something Bean. Jolly Bean or Wally. What is her name? Maybe that'll come to me. Anyway, she did this. And she said she got it from some 70s magazine. So anyway, you fold up a bunch of pages in a book. And as you fold all these pages, just fold them in half, fold them in half, fold them in half. And then you end up with this. Isn't this fabulous? And then I went ahead, of course, and covered it all in music note paper. And um, the music note paper was already coffee dyed. And then, of course, I Tim Holtz distressed it more and all of that. Then I distressed all the papers in here. And then I made a bunch of tags that I coffee dyed. And I was supposed to start writing, like, um, inspirational little things on here. But I never did that. And so but I was thinking, wouldn't this be cool for everyone to... Um, to use index card and alter an index card. How cool would that be? And make a, like, a little art journal page out of it. But just off an index card. You know how everyone's doing the ATCs or they do the Rolodex, but this just do an index card. So do whatever you want to do on this. You can make it into like a tag. You can um, you can make it into like a little art journal, little page, a little piece. Whatever you want to do on this little tag, you can do. And then I'll have the collection of everybody's work in this. And how cool that looks. Everyone's work in this. I love it. So, okay. So, that's coming up. Um, and I got more videos. I don't know. I, oh, I have a junk jewelry video that I need to make. So, I'll be doing that soon. I have tons of junk jewelry that I've gotten. Um, oh, and you guys, make sure. I have a bunch of new stuff in my Etsy shop. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen. I've shown in my other videos. You guys have seen the new pieces. Just in case you haven't, um, do I have any of the new pieces with me? Well, these aren't in my shop exactly, but just so you get an idea, these are going in next month. Aren't these cute? They're little angels. Um, just little pieces like this that are made out of ceramic, and um, they're, they're made out of plaster of Paris and resin. And um, everything is about $2.00. Everything's somewhere between $1.50 and 2 bucks, So it's always good prices in my shop. 
Let me just show you guys really quick. I got the pieces here. Some actual pieces are in my shop. Okay. Here we go. All right. You guys have seen it. The rose. This one's $2. This piece right here, somewhere around $1.75. Um, this one I think is $1.75, two bucks. Now, these are going to come into my shop next month. Are these fabulous or what? These crosses are loving. Okay, you know, maybe I didn't, I may just come up here because this is where I have, let me just, I'll just show these one more time in case I wasn't in frame. Okay, and this. And again, this cross. How cool is that cross? Okay, I got a couple different crosses coming. So, all right, you guys. I just wanted to share all of that with you. Um, inform you. Thank you so much for subscribing to my station and all the support and all the kind words that you guys always leave me. And um, my shop is www.myfairytreasures.etsy.com. The link is always below. Go there and check out some cool stuff. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Okay? All right. Bye-bye.